YouTube channel, my name is Carrie. Today, I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite Valentine's Day Cricut ideas. It's a Dollar Tree cereal bowl that I personalized with my Cricut maker that says, I seriously love you on one side and my daughter's name on the other. I love this project because the blanks and materials are cheap, it's easy to make, and it's a great Cricut project to sell if you have a Cricut business. They're a perfect little gift to make for anyone, but especially kids and grandparents. This is my daughter's favorite bowl in the house. Anytime I give her cereal, she always asks for her Sierra Bowl. I love it because it's a cute way to start off her day by reminding her that she is seriously loved. If you're looking for more Cricut Valentine's Day projects, make sure you check out the Valentine's Day playlist on my channel. Now let's go over the materials that you'll need to make this project. I'll leave links in my video description to all the materials and designs that you need. These bowls are from the Dollar Tree, so they're only $1.25. For vinyl, I'm using Oracle 651 in the white glossy color. I really like Oracle 651 vinyl. It's been my go-to vinyl for years. I actually filmed this video last year and never got around to posting it until now. We've been using this bowl for a year and haven't had any issues with the vinyl peeling. I know you're not supposed to put vinyl in the dishwasher, but I hate hand washing dishes and I always throw the bowl in the dishwasher. A year later and the vinyl still hasn't peeled at all. You'll also need a green standard grip mat to stick your vinyl to and a Cricut machine to cut the design out on. Since the design is small, you can use any Cricut machine to make this. I'm using my Cricut Maker, but if you have a Cricut Joy or Explore Air 2 or any of their other machines, that's fine. The process is still the same. You'll also need some transfer tape. This is the kind that I love. I can't remember the brand, but I'll leave a link in the video description. Next, you'll need some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe to clean your bowl with. I use a coffee filter because it's a cheap lint-free wipe. And lastly, you'll need a trimmer or a pair of scissors to cut your vinyl out with and some basic weeding tools. Before we move over to the computer and get designing, I would love it if you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I post new Cricut crafts every week and I recently started sharing some laser engraving projects as well. Subscribing is free and just lets YouTube know that you want to see more videos like this. I came across this SVG on designbundles.net and I thought that it was really cute. But since I pay for a Creative Fabrica All Access subscription, I get unlimited access to everything on their website. So I always try to get my fonts and designs through there. So I went over to Creative Fabrica and I tried to find a font that looked similar to this one. I think I found a pretty close match. This font is called Pumpkin Butter. It's super cute and it looks pretty similar. I'll leave links to both of these fonts and designs down below in my video description. So I'm just gonna download it. Now I'm gonna go over and click text and type in I C E R E A L seriously. Is that how you do it? I seriously love you. We can align it center, go to our font system, search pumpkin butter. For some reason, this font doesn't recognize the dash, so I'm just going to delete that and make it in a different font. But otherwise, I think that looks super cute. Let's click text and add the dash, and I'm going to change the font to something else. I want to try and make this dash a little bit thicker, so I think if I unlock right here, I can drag it down so it's a little bit fatter. There we go. That looks better. I think I want to space out this eye a little bit more, too. The next thing that I want to do is move Love You closer to Serial Slee. So I'm going to go to Line Space and click the Down button a whole bunch of times. Another thing that I want to do is add the two hearts on the side. So I'm just going to go to Images and type in Heart. And I'm going to select this heart and change the color to black. Shrink it way down and use the corner arrow to turn it. And then I want to duplicate it so I can put it over here and I'll just turn it a little bit in this direction. Then I'm going to highlight and I'm going to weld it all together. Another thing that I would recommend doing for this project is personalizing it. One of the best ways that you can make money with your Cricut machine is by personalizing things. People love to have their name on anything. So I'm going to click text and type in Sierra, that's my daughter. I really should have bought two bowls, one for Barrett, because now they're going to fight over it. And why didn't Barrett get a bowl? But I was just trying to make a quick little video. So now I'm definitely going to have to go back to the dollar store and get Barrett a bowl. And change the color, shrink it down just like before, and rotate it, and duplicate it. 
Net is super adorable. She will definitely love it. I'm going to highlight this, click combine and weld. And the next thing I'm gonna do is grab a ruler and measure my bowl so I can see what size to resize this design to. Here's what the finished bowl looks like. Didn't it come out cute? If you're looking for more Cricut Valentine's Day ideas, make sure you check out the playlist that pops up next on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.